Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be learning how to set up a cookie policy on your website in order to be GDPR compliant. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so here in the WordPress dashboard, what you want to do is install the cookie yes plugin. So we're going to go into plugins and then add new. Okay, and then we're going to search cookie yes. Okay, and then we're going to install the first one here. So it's cookie banner for cookie consent. So it's for GDPR and CCPA compliance. So we'll click activate. Okay, so now it's active. So now let's go back into our plugins. Okay, and then over here, we can go into the cookie as plugin. Okay, great. So now we need to configure the plugin. Okay, so it says the cookie banner has been activated and then now we just need to just do an automatic cookie scan. Okay, so connect web app. Okay, so yeah, so their plan is quite generous. It's they have a free forever plan for up to 25,000 page views. So that's quite generous. So we can go to connect for free and connect. And then now you just need to create an account. So I'm just gonna create an account real quick and then skip back to the video. Okay, so I created an account and then now it's syncing. Okay, great, so now it's connected and then let's go to the Cookie Web app. Okay, great, so here's our dashboard of the Cookie S plugin. So we can see that our cookie banner is applied. So let's just check on the website. Awesome, so if we see over here, we got this little pop-up. So now you're GDPR compliant. Back in the Cookie Yes app here in the WordPress dashboard, we can customize the banner over here. Okay, great. So we can see our banner down here at the bottom. And then now we can configure the settings here on the side. So we can choose a template. So right now we're using the GDPR. Then you can choose specific regions which you'd like this banner to pop up on. But this is a, a premium feature. So we'll just stick to worldwide for now. And then let's see some advanced settings. So again, just expiration dates, but I think by default, this is fine. And then we can go here into layout. Okay, great. So now you can display how you'd like it to look. So we, usually how I see it is a full width layout like this, I think is more appealing and at the bottom. So it doesn't interfere with your main menu because if you put it at the top here, it's quite intrusive of your website. So keeping it at the bottom is the best way to go. Okay, so the preference center, so this is the little pop-up that comes up when you click customize. So I think just keeping it center, how they had it here by default, I think is the best user experience. Okay, and then next what we can do is click on content over here, and then you can update all the content here if you have specific messaging. The default one is already GDPR compliant, so I think that's fine. But again, if you have a custom policy, then you can add it over here. So for each one of these, okay, great. And then we can add in some colors over here. So if you, you prefer the light, light version or the dark version, so I'll stick with the dark version over here. And then if you go over here down to custom, you can completely play with all the colors. So let's make it, let's say red. Yeah, you have complete customizations in terms of the color. And then again, this is still part of the free version of the plugin. You don't need to subscribe to a paid plan in order to customize the banner. Okay, we'll click publish change. So now they'll publish all of our edits. Okay, and then custom CSS. So this is a premium feature. So again, you'll have to upgrade if you want to do some custom CSS. But I think in terms of their layout and colors, you have complete control over how your cookie banner is displayed. So I think that's fine. And then down here at the bottom, you can see how it looks like on tablet view and mobile view over here. So just make sure that in terms of the spacing that everything looks correct. Yeah, so that's how you're able to manage the appearance of your banner. So next over here, let's look into Cookie Manager. So again, this will display all the cookies that are present on your website, which you require consent to. And over here, you can add cookies manually, but if you do a scan, then it'll pick it up automatically. And then over here is the consent log. It's just a log of those that access your website. Okay, and then languages. If you're a multi-language website, then you can add other languages over here. 
and then advanced settings. Okay, so these are the ones on by default. So again, the plugin handles all of the settings over here. So I don't think you need to edit any of these settings, especially over here, like the installation code as the plugin automatically installs the banner. But again, you can enable or disable the banner over here or disable the plugin through WordPress. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to follow along and set up a cookie policy on your website. If you're looking for additional help with your website, then you can check out my website, mapalipmedia.ca to get in contact with me. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.